So for this week's discussion, we're doing video posts. So why it's, I guess I'm going to be talking about my life. That's going to be my positive experience and what I've learned in the culture. When I was younger growing up, I've always struggled pretty much most of my life with self-identity. Um, I always had these feelings when I was younger and I really didn't know what they meant and I was always confused by them. Of course, growing up, you're always taught a certain way and certain beliefs that you're supposed to follow. So I tried that, but it just, it wasn't working for me. And if you're wondering what I mean, I'm gay. But when I was younger, I always, I could never figure out why I kept having these attractions to boys instead of girls. And it was always something deep inside me. Um, I've, I've always realized it, I've known since I was six, anyways, that I've always liked boys. I just never was, had that same attraction for girls. But, as usual, in most families, you're always taught that being gay is wrong. And if you are gay, you're going to go straight to hell. God doesn't forget gays and God doesn't like gays. Well, with that being instilled in me, I always fear f for my life and what would happen to me. So I try my best to fight these feelings and fight these urges. Now, it worked for a while up until middle school, as usual. Um, getting into preteens, turning into a teenager. So boys start to develop more things, you know, just things change. <laughs> um, it wasn't until actually my first relationship, I was 12, and uh, he, the guy I started seeing was 16. And he took me around to more gay people, and once I actually got to see and be around in this environment with people just like me, um, it opened up my eyes to a whole new world. I mean, I could actually talk about things and be myself and be open, you know. Um, I have to fear for anything or no judgment zone. Um, when I was always trying to hide, um, before I started actually seeing someone, um, I was used to my friends making jokes about it or, you know, calling people names, especially like the F word, the fag. I've always hated that word. But, you know, that's that's all they would do is call people that and they would beat you up and I just never wanted to be that one. But it also didn't help that I partook in some of the, of the abuse and the bullying that they did with other people. I just didn't want anybody to, to suspect me. But I think that's just in general with most. Um, I've noticed a lot of people go through that. You be the bully instead of being the one getting bullied because you're secretly hiding it for yourself and you don't want nobody to find out about you. But moving on, so when I actually got to see all these people, like I said, it was it was an eye opener. Um, so many different groups actually. I mean, besides being just gay, there's there's different categories for different types of gays, and then you got your lesbians, your transgender, and bi. So it was this big community and. I just, I felt at home and at peace when I actually started meeting these people. And I felt everything was okay. I actually even went to a gay church. And I felt no judgment zone from there, you know. It's the first time I ever heard a pastor preach, you know, that God loves all his children regardless of sexual orientation. I mean, at the end of the day, only God can judge me. Not you, not no one, not my family, not my parents, not my teacher, not some not a neighbor, not nobody two doors down. Only one person can judge you and that's God only. So never ever forget that. And with these people, it was just, it was just amazing. Um, I, like I said, there's different categories. You have your, well, I guess I really shouldn't say. <laughs> um, but you know, it does break down depending on like your, like me, I would be considered a cup. Um, but there's bears, there's twinks, there's your muscle natties. Uh, with girls, uh, you've got your lipstick lesbians, uh, you have your uh, butch, um, you got your studs, and also with guys, you got your like femme and masculine. Um, 
actually got to see my first drag show. That was awesome as well when I was uh, 16. And that was just, that was just blew my mind. You know what I mean? Some of these guys really look good <laughs> and better than some females that I've seen. So I give props to them. And the show was awesome. They're great performers. Um, I recommend everybody go see a drag show at least once. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Um, gosh, doing these little videos is a little bit hard for me. Not that great with them. <laughs> um, before before any of this, like I said, I would do would have never thought that my life would be like this, you know. Never thought I would be be so comfortable in my own skin. I mean, it took a while. I'm 25 now, and to be honest, I actually didn't really come out until I was 17, and it was in my junior year in high school. And I actually came out in class, uh, wrote an essay <laughs> um, about our dreams and hopes. And my friend, two of my best friends, they volunteered me, actually, uh, to read my essay. I didn't want to, and then my teacher was like, yeah, come on, you need to go ahead and read your essay. And I remember standing there, um, shaking and trembling really bad, because I'm feeling very nervous. You know, it's the simple fact that I'm like, oh shit, I'm actually about to go through with this. And as I start reading, and I'm getting further down, because I actually wrote a five-page essay on this. Like, this really, the topic really inspired me. And that's the first time I ever wrote a five-page essay, especially within under five minutes. That was really quick. But I just poured my heart out into it. And as I'm, like, getting closer and closer to, you know, actually saying those words in my essay, I could just, I remember my, uh, I was sitting there just, like, like shaking and trembling and started sweating and it was just it was just very nerve wracking and then as soon as I got to that line I took like a big a big gas took a deep breath and I just went ahead and said it and then I looked up and looked around the room and I noticed everyone staring at me and I really couldn't figure out what their reactions were and I didn't know if people were going to start judging me, I didn't know if people were going to call me names or nothing, but I actually honestly felt good, I felt like the sense of release, like, you know, I, I said it, I told people, I mean, I'm not hiding anymore, and it was just this, like, yeah, I'm claiming that, that's who I am, I'm not going to deny myself anymore, you know, and surprisingly, uh, I got a good positive reaction from everybody, especially my my teacher. He was awesome, and they started clapping, and you know I got a couple hugs from a few people. So it was definitely life changing for me. I mean, I'm used to seeing and hearing about all these stories of how bad it can be. Um, coming out is not always easy, especially with your family and friends, people close to you. Of course, I waited to come out to my family after. I came out to my friends first before I did my family. Um, I waited until I was 18 to come out to my family. Um, my mom was very accepting. Some of, some of my family members too. Not all, but the ones I actually cared about the most, they were very accepting. Um, my mom loves me unconditionally, and I couldn't be more thankful. Um, that's one thing you never want to lose is your parents, but at the end of the day, you got to be you. And you gotta live your life for you. Can't live it for other people. So, I chose to live for myself. Um, why am I gonna sit here and be miserable and sad for the rest of my life? Nothing's ever gonna get accomplished that way. Um, after when doing all this, um, it basically changed me. Um, and as a whole, I was my self confidence built up more. Um, I was very. I started becoming more outspoken. Um, you know, I never. I stopped being that kind of a shy kid. I mean, I'm still shy a little bit, but you actually wouldn't know it unless you actually known me for a while. Uh, I don't really come off as shy. I come out as full force, head on. Um, I've kind of made myself to be that way. I guess you could say. Um, I'm very direct. State what's on my mind, and. It works for me, you know. It's it's pretty much awesome.